Hi everyone! The king cobra is a large venomous snake. It seems that no one in their right mind would ever think to drink its venom. And yet, what do you think will happen to a person who decides on this? Believe it or not, there is a man who chose to do such an experiment. This video is about him. But first, please subscribe to the channel and click on the bell so you won't miss anything. This man's name is Sadhguru. He's about to drink black cobra venom. This man is a famous Indian yogi and mystic with millions of followers all over the world. At the age of 25, he said he experienced enlightenment. One day he climbed a hill and entered a meditative state. He thought it lasted under 10 minutes, but it turned out that he had spent 5 hours on the hill. Sadhguru said that while sitting on the hill, he did not feel the limits of his body and became one with everything that surrounded him. After this incident, he decided to share his experience with others and started teaching people yoga and many spiritual practices. As you know, yogis can tame snakes with one glance, but why drink their venom? What if this person is just a psycho or a charlatan? Let's not jump to conclusions. After watching this video to the end, you will understand whether the yogi actually took risks. There are about 600 species of snakes on the planet, and although most of them are not venomous, from 220 to 380 people die from their bites every year. Just 7 milliliters of venom is enough to kill a person, it's only one drop. At the same time, venom also has healing properties and is widely used in medicine. This substance has a complex chemical composition. It includes proteins, fats and enzymes to speed up chemical reactions in the body. Is it only a snake bite that is dangerous? Maybe if you drink venom, nothing terrible will happen. But the black cobra can poison with its venom even at a distance. These snakes can spit at an enemy that is several meters away from them. If their venom gets on the skin, it will cause redness and itching. But they usually aim for the eyes, and if they succeed, it can even lead to blindness. So what happens if you ingest the venom? Not only said Guru drank cobra venom, but he did it in front of a big audience. People were very excited, but the yogi himself looked unmoved. He mixed the venom with milk and swallowed it. What do you think happened next? Everyone watched the elderly man holding their breath. Some women cried in horror, expecting their idol to drop dead. And yet, nothing terrible happened to Sadhguru, not even anything unusual. He just sat there for a while and then continued his spiritual practice which his fans gathered to watch. So can you drink snake venom then? Isn't that dangerous at all? Wait, why should it scare us that someone chooses to drink snake venom? We know that very often to save a person bitten by a snake, the venom is sucked out of the wound. We often see such scenes in movies, but doctors say such actions are completely ineffective. It turns out that you can suck out no more than 2% of the venom, and so a person trying to suck out the venom doesn't run risks. The concentration of toxic substances is too low. A person who was bitten, however, loses precious time. Instead, you should try to get a victim to the hospital as soon as possible, apply a loose bandage over the bite and give them plenty of water to drink. We can conclude that sucking out venom from a wound and drinking it from a cup are two different things. So is drinking venom actually dangerous? In fact, venom is deadly to humans only when observed into the bloodstream. If it enters the stomach, nothing terrible should happen since snake venom mainly consists of proteins and other nutrients. Gastric digestive juice will process the venom like any other food before it can be absorbed into the bloodstream. Moreover, recent scientific research shows that anyone can develop immunity. If you introduce poison in small doses for a long time, the body starts producing antibodies in the blood. 
then even the most poisonous viper's bite won't harm you. Naturally, after the experiment, they asked Sadhguru many questions. Why did he drink the venom? How did he feel afterward? Was he scared? The yogi shared his experience. He explained that he drank the venom to achieve even greater enlightenment. The elderly man believes that this practice will help him to comprehend the truth, achieve union with the world and go into deep meditation quickly. This is how he commented on his experience. In small quantities, snake venom intoxicates and in large quantities it kills. But everything is dangerous in large quantities. Even oxygen, if there is too much of it, will do more harm than good. It all makes you think that you can safely ingest snake venom without risking your health. Still, it's best not to try this at home. Yes, if the poison enters the stomach, it won't do harm. But inside, there might be wounds or ulcers a person is not aware of. Then the venom will be absorbed into the blood before the gastric juice processes it. In this case, we can't predict the outcome. Why risk your health? Sadhguru admitted that something similar had actually happened to him. It seems a small amount of the venom was absorbed into the bloodstream. Now, because of this, Sadhguru's eyelids are a little droopy. It seems that a sane person would never risk their health. Nevertheless, there are many of those who like to push their luck. Some go into extreme sports, others drink snake venom. However, you must understand that this can actually be dangerous. Nobody knows what will happen to a person who goes for it. Sadhguru was lucky, he got away with droopy eyelids, but it could have ended much worse. Don't experiment with your health, take good care of yourself.